The idea with the nematodes is to apply them to your lawn. Nematodes are microorganisms that, once soaked into the soil, will be eaten by the grubs. The nematodes then do their job and eat the grubs from the inside. So the nematodes are a way of trying to control the grub population. And since moles and voles eat grubs, removing the grubs seems like a great way to reduce the moles and voles interest in my lawn, which is getting destroyed on a daily basis. Over the years, I've tried all these and more to try to control the grub population, but none of them have provided any kind of extended relief. In this video, I'm going to use the words grubs, moles, and voles somewhat interchangeably. Even though they're different and would require different pest control treatments, I believe treating grubs is the key to my mole and vole problem. The specific nematode that I ordered is for the early stages of grubs. I'll have to do it again in the fall so I can catch the next generation. But the idea is to catch the next generation in the early stages and then hopefully eliminate the food supply for the moles and voles which have destroyed my lawn. It's a tricky thing to time because you can order them but can't guarantee when you'll receive them. You can refrigerate them for up to two weeks when you receive them. In my case, the package came FedEx two-day ship and basically had an ice pack in it. I'm not sure what the level of impact is on the actual product when it's unrefrigerated, so I applied it right away in hopes of producing some effect. I used a 20-gallon hose sprayer as a way to apply the nematodes. You could also use a pump sprayer. I've never used a hose end sprayer, but found it to be a really cool device. You basically put the nematodes in the bottom dry and then fill the canister with water. You don't want to apply them in super hot temperatures, and you also don't want to apply them when you're about to get a soaking rain or torrential downpour that would produce runoff. So you're stuck with trying to find a window where it won't be super hot, it won't be freezing cold, and it won't get terribly rainy with runoff. You'll need to gently stir, and they stress gently in the instructions. Get the clumps broken up inside the canister. Once you start pumping water through the hose, this magic little hose end sprayer will suck in the right amount continuously and mix that in with the hose water as it gets sprayed out. When it's done, you should see the canister is now empty. That means all the solution with the nematodes in it has been mixed into the water and sprayed out onto your lawn. But it's hard to know what's really going on because nematodes are microorganisms that are working against the grubs. So I'm going to go by what is, I think, the lack of new mole holes in the area that I treated. I like that it's easy to apply, although it does require certain environmental temperature and moisture levels to be maintained for two weeks after you apply them. But in the end, with nematodes, and frankly, with every other thing I've tried so far to treat this problem, there is simply no guarantee.